Hey everyone, Laser Dave here again with Trotec Laser. I want to take you on a deep dive into creating custom rubber stamps with the Ruby software. From sourcing the essential materials to producing impeccable laser engraved and cut rubber stamps on demand with your Trotec Laser system. The rubber stamp supplies used in this video are from Trodat. Trodat is the world's market leader in self-inking stamps, supplying rubber stamp supplies for customers in more than 150 countries worldwide. Scan this QR code, go to this website, or contact this phone number to sign up to order Trodat supplies. Place the sheet of Trodat rubber into the Trotec laser machine to process a rubber stamp. Then move the focus head over the rubber sheet and focus the laser. The sonar autofocus is shown in this example. Close the lid on the laser system and then open up the Ruby software. Within the Ruby Manage screen, import or drag any black and white design file you want to convert into a rubber stamp. Now select that graphic and fit it into the design. Then select the Generate Stamp button. This will open a flyout window for rubber stamps. Within this window, an outline cut line can be added with an adjustable minimum distance adjustment and a mirror button. In this example, I will add an outline cut to this file with a cut line distance of 0.039 inches. And I will mirror the image and then select Generate Stamp. This will create an entirely new file on the left side design list, leaving the original from any changes. Select this newly generated rubber stamp file from the design list, then click Create Job. This will open up this rubber stamp design into the Prepare screen. Position the design onto the rubber sheet inside the laser machine using the overhead camera or the red pointer if you do not have the camera system. On the top toolbar, select Stamp Mode for rubber stamps. Stamp Mode will convert the design to now show as a mirrored negative image from the original. Select the material from the Materials database. In this example, I will use the 2.3mm natural rubber parameter. Now the rubber stamp shoulder needs to be selected. Ruby offers three different shoulder choices. A flat, a medium, and a steep setting. Shoulders will allow the characters and letters of a stamp text play to offer more stability at the base, depending on the intricacy and the fineness of the rubber stamp. The flat setting is recommended for finer fonts and small graphic details. The medium setting is used for standard text stamps. Steep is best suited for larger areas or bold imagery. In this example, the medium shoulder setting will be used. Rubber stamp links can also be turned on and off here. Links are used when laser cutting rubber stamps. This will add tiny links to the cut, keeping the stamp in place after the cut for easier cleaning and removal from the laser machine. This tool is especially beneficial when processing high volumes of rubber stamps at a time. Now push the file to the laser. Push start on the laser to process the rubber stamp. The laser will now engrave the rubber stamp, engraving everything besides the design characters, while applying a relief shoulder on the edges automatically. This example is being laser processed with an 80 watt laser, at 100% power, 25% speed, at 1000 dpi with relief mode turned on. Also below is the 120 watt engraving parameters. Cutting settings for this rubber thickness on an 80 watt laser is 100% power, 0.9% speed at 2000 Hz. Also included below are the 120 watt laser parameters. Once the stamp is finished, open the laser lid and remove the sheet from the laser. Because links were turned on in this example, the cut stamp will remain attached to the rubber sheet making removal from the machine and cleaning faster and much more manageable. For cleaning the rubber, testing has found that the off-the-shelf household cleaner Simple Green works exceptionally well in removing rubber engraving residue. Spray the stamp with the Simple Green cleaner and then use a small brush to clean out the debris and residue. Then rinse with water or use a cloth to dry the stamp or stamps. Now peel out the stamp from the sheeting. You can see here how the tiny links added to hold the stamp in place for easy removal and cleaning are now easily pulled away to release the stamp from the sheet. Here is the example of this stamp complete. This photo of this stamp was digitally mirrored to make the text readable for this video. 
Once the stamp has been engraved and cleaned, it must be placed into a stamper. This example will use the Trodat Professional 5440 stamper with a built-in date and two ink colors, red for the date and blue for the data on this example. The entire kit needed for this example is the stamper, paper label, engraved rubber stamp, and multicolor ink pad. For assembly, push down on the stamper and press the lock button here to lock it into position. Peel off the film from the adhesive base, orient the stamper so the word up is facing up for stamp orientation, and stick down the laser engraved and cut rubber stamp onto the stamper. Remove the protective housing from the multicolored ink pad and slide it into the groove shown here until it clicks into place. Test out the stamp onto some scrap paper, then align the stamp with the label and use the new stamp to create the stamp label. Remove the label from the surrounding paper, then remove the plastic cap to hold the label. Place the stamp label into place and then snap the plastic housing over that label. The stamp system is now complete and ready for 10 years of use before the time on the date portion runs out. Next, I will cover running multiple stamps at one time. The only difference is the designs must be first assembled in your graphic design software. After the stamp designs are gathered together and saved, open that combined graphic stamp file into Ruby. Select the file and select Generate Stamp. In this example, the outlines are already in place, so it only needs to be mirrored and generated. Please note that larger files like this may take a few minutes to process. Once processed, select the stamp file and then create a job. Place the stamp file over the rubber sheet, turn on stamp mode, select the rubber material parameter, select the shoulder, turn on links, and push the file to the laser. Laser process the rubber stamp sheet until it is fully engraved and cut. Then remove the sheet, clean the rubber, and pull the stamps from the sheet like before. You can now place each stamp into different stampers depending on the look and size needed, producing all kinds of stamps, from required office stamps and address stamps to fun, artistic craft stamps, limited only to your imagination. All web links and design files shown in this video will be included in the link below. If you have any questions, please let us know in the comments section, and don't forget to like and subscribe, and hit that notification bell to see what I'll laser next. Thank you so much for watching, I'll see you next time.